All right, hey everybody. We have another adventure today, Allison and Lynn. Hi. In South Africa. Today we're gonna talk about buffalo and game transfers. One thing that a lot of people may not know about South Africa is that it, the population is growing, the amount of wild lands is decreasing, and so most of the wildlife are on private game reserves. So they are wild in the sense that they're running around on land that they don't know is privately owned and has fences around it because it's really big, but they also aren't just like free ranging across the continent at this point. Because of poaching and because of development, a lot of what you see from South Africa as wild is wild, but also on these game reserves. So that gene pool starts to get real narrow on the bottom. Uh, so what they have to do is they have to move bulls, uh, males, from one location to another, bring in different males so that you can bring diversity to the gene pool. So it's just like when uh, cattle ranchers in the States they move their cattle, but then they also will sell and trade cattle so that they can yeah. manipulate that gene pool. These are the buffalo that had to be moved. moved. Yeah, that's um, the easiest way to put it. Okay, they just had to be moved. And so they are kept go from this small area where they were in quarantine to make sure they weren't sick to the larger area where they're gonna go run amok with the other buffalo. But that means you have to get them into a trailer. Yeah. So describe for us, Lynn, what this insanity is that everybody's looking at. Uh, Basically, it's trying to motivate an animal that is very much wild and very aggressive. And um, very anti-human. Yeah, <laughs> buffalo are very dangerous animals. Very, very dangerous animals. And the ones you're seeing are, are females. Uh, they're getting moved to an area where there's some males around. Uh, but this is in an effort to diversify the gene pool. Uh, but the thing is, is they don't know that. All they know is that they feel like they're getting cornered and put in the box, so... Basically, they're being taken to a massive speed dating event, but they think they're going to the slaughterhouse. So, uh -huh. it's all whether you're a half is, uh, glass full or half glass empty buffalo. And yeah. these guys were a little glass is half empty. Right. Which meant, like, shaking bags to try to scare them in. Ooh. This one female, she did not want to go in the trailer. She just kept going back and forth, back and forth. back and forth and back and forth but finally the human will won over the buffalo and we got her on the trailer does she know how to get in the trailer oh. Lynn is driving a trailer that's not ours and we did not hijack it People actually asked him to do this. Right now, I am driving a Land Cruiser with about three buffalo in it. One baby bull and uh, two cows. Have you ever driven buffalo before? Nope. Lots of buffalo, see? When I was on top of the trailer, there was like a hole at the top of it for air that you could and put the camera in and observation, but you just don't want to fall in it. I climbed on top of the trailer to film this because you did not want me to get gored. Chances are they're gonna just run off, but if one of those happens to turn, I mean, yeah, they're, it's, imagine like a full on bull, like a rodeo bull. So 
something that took three hours to get them in the trailer took about three minutes to get them off. We've done a few of those. So we did one buffalo transfer actually last year. One, two, three, go! That was very successful. That one they big darted, male. big male, darted uh, with an immobilizing agent, like a tranquilizer from the helicopter, and we moved him over. So this one was um, a little easier. He was so big from the rear, he almost looked like a rhino. Yeah, was that big. was a big bull. That was a big guy. That's one of the cool things about being out here and hanging out with Lynn and the group that he works with, because you get to do cool stuff like this. I mean, a lot of people come out and they get in their cars and they drive through like Kruger, and that's like driving through Yellowstone, but to be able to come out here and help out on these game reserves, farms as they call them, is really, an awesome experience because you get to actually be a part of all the action which means you get to be really close to the wildlife which is super cool so all right game captures now you know and the more you know the more you know you know allison and lynn in south africa see you next time <laughs>